find the node voltages V1 and V2 in the circuit shown in figure. We have to find node voltage V1 and node voltage V2. Solution We will solve this using nodal analysis. Let's assume this is a ground node or reference node. Let's say this is current I1. Let's say this is current I2. Let's say this is current I3. Now, if we apply KCL at node V1, apply KCL at node V1. KCL stands for Kirchhoff's current law. According to KCL, summation of all the current entering a node is equal to summation of all the current leaving the node. So here, entering current is 100 ampere. It is equal to leaving current. Leaving currents are I1 and I2. So I1 plus I2. Now, 100 is equal to I1. Now this I1 is V1 minus 0 divided by 0 0.2. V1 minus 0 divided by 0 0.2 then plus I2. Now this I2 is V1 plus 15. So V1 plus 15 this is the higher voltage minus lower voltage. Now lower voltage is V2. So V2 divided by 0 0.25 ohm 0 0.25 ohm now if we simplify this so this will be 100 is equal to v1 by 0 0.2 then plus this will be v1 by 0 0.25 then plus 15 by 0 0.25 then minus V2 by 0 0.25. Now again if we simplify this, so this will be 1 by 0 0.2 plus 1 by 0 0.25. So this will be 9. So 9 V1 minus this is 1 by 0 0.25. So it is 4 V2. Now if we take this constant or 15 by 0 0.25 on left side. Here this will be on right side. So this will be 100 minus 100 minus 15 divided by 0 0.25. So it is 40. Let's say this is equation number 1. Now we will apply KCL at node V2. Apply KCL at node V2. So again summation of all the entering current. Entering current here is only I2. So I2 is equal to summation of all the currents leaving the node. So leaving currents are I3 plus 5. So I3 plus 5. Now I2 is again same value. I2 value is same. That is this value. Now this is equal to I3. Now again I3 is. Here we can see I3 is V2 minus 0 divided by 0 0.1. V2 minus 0 divided by 0 0.1. Then plus 5. So this will be V1 by 0 0.25 then plus 15 by 0 0.25 minus V2 by 0 0.25 minus this will be if we, this goes on left side so this will be minus V2 by 0 0.1 is equal to 5. Now if we simplify this so this will be 1 by 0 0.25 is 4v1 
then this will be 1 minus minus 1 by 0 0.25 minus 1 by 0 0.1 so it is minus 14 v2 is equal to now this will be 5 minus 15 by 0 0.25 so this will be 4 v1 4 v1 minus 14 v2 is equal to 5 minus 15 by 0 0.25 so it is minus 55. Let's say this is equation number 2. So solving equation 1 and 2 we get calculator mode 5 1. So 9 minus 4 40 and from equation 2 this will be 4 minus 14 minus 55. So therefore V1 is equal to 7.09 volt and V2 is equal to 5.95 volt. What we have to find? We have to find V1 and V2. So this is the value of V1 and this is the value of V2.